Yo, yo, yo. What's with that face? Hey, what are you doing here? I came to tell you something. Tell me what? You want to use your arm and save that whatever his name is, right? Yeah, like when I saved Kareem. If I use my arm. Naive, naive, naive. Naive as a newborn. Why? Think about it. Once a devil golem and a magicor are bonded together, leaving the magicor behind and absorbing everything else, well, that just isn't realistic. What? Why not? You just suck up the magicor too, and that's that. Take a look at this. What is it? It's the remnants of the Lord of Earth's magicor. Look inside, nothing left. Hollowed out. Now, what do you think this process would do to a human, huh? Kill them? I should think so. Hey, hold on! That's no good! Good or no good, so what? It's the truth. But wait! I saved Kareem! I guess you were just lucky. And that explains it all, does it? Hold on, hold on, I've got more. You were lucky enough that certain requirements were met, is what I mean. Requirements? Like what? I don't know really, but what I mean is, there is some kind of trick to this saving a Magicor business. So what should I do? Huh? How should I know? Wait! After all that, you just don't know? Uh, why do I have to repeat myself? Do not be bound by common sense. Just because I'm the ascetic monk doesn't mean I know everything. You'll have to work the rest out for yourself. Hey! Wait! Ah, off he goes again. I guess I need to discuss this with the other. Hey, Kareen. Any progress? Nope. They are all convinced that the Magic Court must die. That's one hard-headed family. I guess I might agree with them, too, if I were an outsider. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I've got something to discuss with you, actually. What now? The ascetic monk just paid me a visit, and... So, simply put, just absorbing the golem with your right arm isn't enough to save the person inside? <laughs> we sure lucked out with you then, Kareem. That's no laughing matter! I was almost hollowed out! Yeah, the Lord of Earth's magic core was like an empty shell. It's frightening to think I almost ended up like that. But you did it, so stop thinking about it. I'm afraid we have to think about it, for Toya's sake. What can we do? It might not go so well next time. We need to talk to someone who knows about these things. But the aesthetic mug doesn't know anything. I can't see regular folk being too up on this stuff either. Hmm. Regular folk? Indeed. Rygar, do you have any idea? Uh, no. Uh, not really. Uh, not at all, in fact. Hey, Rygar, that reminds me. Didn't you once go to the Sage's Tower? Did I? Yes, I'm sure you told me you did. The Sage's Tower? Some wise woman who's supposed to be centuries old lives in that tower. Hey, Rygar, it sounds like you know just the old crone we need to meet. Yeah, take us to her. Um, uh, well, I don't think... What, some kind of problem? It might be considered a problem. She isn't the sort to just give anyone an audience. Yeah, right. Come on, let's go. Raga, take us there. What I'm trying to say is... You dispute the word of your princess? Uh, very well. I will lead you there. The Sage's Tower lies to the north of the desert, across the volcanic path. I don't know if she will see us or... North of the desert, across the volcanic path. Let's go then. As you say. As you say. As you say.
Looks like it. Unfortunately, it is. What do you mean, unfortunately? Is this sage that unpleasant? Uh, no, she's almost too nice. <laughs> okay, ignore Rygar. And off we go. Yeah! I knew you'd come. What? Atsuma, do you plan on going to the Sage's Tower? Oh, you again! Yeah, I'm gonna find a way to save Troy at the Sage's Tower. Pointless. What? I'm telling you, it's pointless. I have been to see the Sage. I've done everything possible. There's no way to save Toya. But I'm not giving up! There may be a way to save him, just like there was with Kareem. Well, that might be true. But finding a way to save him, that is not the problem. Why not? Because Toya himself doesn't want to be saved. So, you cannot save him. You're lying! How can you know that? Because I talked with him. What? Do you know what Toya said? He called you a total pain, a total nuisance. You're lying! Toya is with the Queen of Ice because he wants to be. That's a lie! A lie! Toya is attempting to cast off his limitations as a mortal. Toya, that fool, is planning on becoming one with the Queen of Ice. Becoming... one? Yes. By choosing to become part of the actual Devil Golem, he can transcend mortal bounds. That is what Toya wants. You're joking! I'm not gonna believe anything you say! <laughs> you refuse to believe Toya himself. What? Remember everything Toya has said to you up to this point. But that was because Toya was being controlled. What proof do you have that he's being controlled? But you are just twisting the truth to suit what you want to believe. Saving Toya from the Queen of Ice no longer means releasing him from her clutches. The only way to save him now is to kill him. That's not for you to decide. <laughs> and you can make that decision, can you? On behalf of everyone in the world, think on that. Farewell. Damn! Atsuma. I'm not paying attention to anything he says. We can't afford to waste any more time here. Where's the sage, Rygar? She lives at the top of the tower. The top of the tower? Sounds like a very inconvenient place to live. What does she do for food? She has to come all the way down to get it? No. This place was built during the Golem War. It has all the equipment for artificially producing food and eternal power. Even at the very top, one can lead a relatively carefree existence. So, she doesn't have to come down for the rest of her life? The sage told me, in fact, that she hasn't come down in more than 200 years. What? So how old is she then? Uh, no, she did come down once, about 20 years ago. Enough talk, let's go. Guardian hired by the Sage, commanded to attack all who try to get past. So we have to fight to get through here? However, as I am the Sage's apprentice, I need only to announce myself to get through. The Sage's apprentice? Way to go, Rygar! And hurry up and announce yourself! As you say. Odin, allow us to pass. Show me you are worthy of standing before my master. My name is Rygar. What? I know of no apprentice by that name. But how can that be? Hey, Rygar! That isn't right, is it? I have no idea. He's attacking! Those who seek to disturb my master shall be punished.
Captain Bud? Just what was that all about? I thought all you had to do was announce yourself. Uh, I thought that too. Don't tell me you were lying about being her apprentice. No, I really am her apprentice. Okay, okay, Rygar. No need to show off for us, okay? But I truly am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Apprentice of the Sage. That's amazing. You're cool, Rygar. <sighs> well, whatever. When we meet the Sage on the top level, then we'll find... Rygar. 